Hello, I'm Richard, uh, and I'm, today I wanted to talk a little bit about our um, battery, specifically the upgrade we've just recently made um, to our battery system. Uh, we started off with our 250 model line, and actually with our 50cc models as well, um, with a lithium ferrous battery. And these are very small, lightweight batteries that pack a lot of power for their size and weight. The lithium ferrous battery that we went with uh, had several drawbacks, uh, one of which was that it had a very small window of operation. And by that we mean that um, it, if the battery went below a certain charge level, um, it was basically dead and it could not be um, recharged. Um, and the other was that it did not have enough amps to, cranking amps to easily start the bike in um, very cold conditions. Um, and we did have a lot of uh, kind of warranty work. We had to replace a lot of batteries for customers. And um, it just was a, it took a special uh, charger, a smart charger, to charge it and balance the cells. So we decided to actually kind of go back to a um, more traditional uh, technology, which is we're all, we all are familiar with the lead acid battery. You can use Almost everybody probably has a lead acid battery charger in their garage somewhere. Um, if they don't, they're very, very cheap. You can get them anywhere. Um, this is just your plain old uh, lead acid battery. They're inexpensive, and if they are, they, the, the window of operation is much larger. If this battery is, um, if you leave your headlight on and it drains all the way, you know, you, there's a limited number of times you can fully recharge it, and it will damage the battery, but it's not going to cause um, a complete failure the first time you do it. Um, so this is a great battery to, um, to use on a motorcycle for that reason. It also has um, a bit more uh, cranking amps, so for you know, cold weather starting, this is going to uh, start up really easily. The lead acid batteries do require some maintenance um, over the winter. Let's say if you are storing the bike, you will want to put this one on a trickle charger as opposed to the lithium ferrous, which has almost no um, uh, loss of charge over uh, periods of time. So this one, we always tell people, don't put it on a charger, just leave it and it'll be fine in the spring. Uh, this is a little different. This one will require some maintenance, but it's maintenance that most motorcyclists are familiar with and the equipment is very cheap. So uh, without further ado, we'll talk a little bit about the design of the, the, um, this new battery box. Um, this is one that uh, we were able to model almost uh, completely in 3D um, before building. So here, here's the, uh, the battery box built around the specific battery that we wanted. It also has the constraints of the size of the space on the bike that it could get into. But uh, these are the, the positive and negative lead um, up here. These two holes put grommets in there and this can pop right in. And then this, the uh, other advantage of this box is that here, you can actually pull the battery out without removing the battery box. On our previous lithium ferrous batteries, the, the actual box had to be removed to get the battery out. This one allows you to pull it out from the side, and um, so it's a lot more serviceable. In addition to the actual stainless steel structure of the battery box, uh, there's a rubber liner that um, kind of protects the battery from uh, shock um, uh, and uh, just provides a nice place for it to be held. So here is the, the finished battery box in stainless steel. This is a, the polished uh, version. And um, basically there's a, there's a bracket. This bolts to all three models. So this is a universal part. Um, and it will yeah, just bolt right onto your, to your, um, to your bike, allowing the battery to be re installed and removed without removal of the battery box or air box as on previous models. Um, here's the rubber uh, insert. This goes in like this and just folds up. So there, there is the battery installed with the rubber liner. Um, the rubber liner uh, provides a nice tight fit for the battery and um, protection from shocks and bumps. The lead wires come across the top, and then there is a leather battery cap that's installed on top of that. And there you go. And um, now we'll go down and take a look at what this looks like on the bike. All right, so here's the battery uh, box installed on a Halcyon. Um, you can see it. It's a, definitely a different look than our um, 250, the previous version, which was a vertical box um, that you could see more of the sides of. This one's got a nice big leather cover. Um, we've, just, we've found that these leather covers are fantastic in all weather conditions. Um, they really do uh, seal up the, ba um, the battery. Uh, this is how you can access it here. So the flap flaps up, and then you can actually completely remove that cover um, on the bike. But with this wide um, opening on the front, 
This battery, you have to un re remove the terminal bolts, but the whole battery can be removed without any disassembly apart from the cap. Um, so then it just pops in here with a single snap and you can uh, have everything back ready to go. We can retrofit this battery to uh, older uh, first gen um, Janus. We're really pleased with the, um, the performance of the bike now, the user um, ease of use. Um, this is a much wider window of operation. Um, cold weather it gives you a little, more, a little bit more forgiving with leaving lights on a little too long or with uh, the, hitting the starter button. Um, and overall, it's just a, a more robust uh, system for our battery. We're really pleased with it.